Welcome to the end is at the corner and welcome to our match tutorial about sum and product of the roots of quadratic equations. Maaari nating makuha ang sum and product of the roots of our quadratic equation sa pamamagitan ng coefficients na a, b, and c. Sa sum of the roots ng ating quadratic equation, we just divide negative b sa ating coefficient a. Or, x sub 1, which is our first root, plus x sub 2, our second root, is equal to negative b divided by a. Ang product of the roots naman ng ating quadratic equation ay makukuha natin by dividing C by coefficient A. Or, x sub 1 times x sub 2 is equal to C divided by A. Let's have our first example. Find the sum and product of the roots of x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. We are going to use the coefficients a, b, and c to find the sum and product. a is equal to 1, b is equal to 7, and c is equal to 12. Now let's use our formula. The sum of the roots is equal to negative b divided by a. By substitution, negative 7 divided by 1, the answer is negative 7. The sum of the roots of our quadratic equation is negative 7. Let's proceed to the product of the roots. Let's use C divided by A. Substitution, ang C natin ay 12 divided by our A which is 1. Again, simplify, 12 divided by 1, answer is 12. So, the product of the roots of our quadratic equation is 12. Now, i-check lang natin. Kuhanin natin yung roots ng x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0 using factoring. And ito yung ating magiging roots. x is equal to negative 4 and x is equal to negative 3. Kapag pinag-add natin yung dalawang roots, ang magiging sum is negative 7, which is sakto doon sa nakuha natin kanina na sum of the roots. And kapag pinag-multiply naman natin yung negative 4 and negative 3, ang magiging product is positive 12 na eksakto din sa nakuha natin kanina na product of the roots. Now, let's proceed to our second example. Find the sum and product of the roots of x squared minus 6x is equal to 0. Let's use our coefficients. So, the value of A here is positive 1. The value of B is negative 6. And wala tayong constant term, so the value of C is 0. Let's use our formula. The sum of the roots is equal to negative B over A. Let's use substitution. Negative, ano yung value ng ating B? We have negative 6. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng negative times negative 6 over what is the value of our A. Value of A is positive 1. Simplify. Negative times negative 6 is equal to positive 6 divided by 1. So, answer is 6. Therefore, the sum of the roots ng ating given quadratic equation is positive 6. Now, let's proceed to the product of the roots. Let's use C over A or C divided by A. Substitute the value of C which is 0 divided by A which is 1. So, 0 divided by 1, answer is 0. Therefore, the product of the roots ng ating given quadratic equation ay 0. What if our given quadratic equation is not yet in standard form? Ang gagawin natin ay, aayusin muna natin ito. So, let's expand itong ating quantity x minus 7 squared. And magkakaroon tayo ng quantity x minus 7 times quantity x minus 7. This is the same as quantity x minus 7 squared. Let's multiply ito muna ating binomials using FOIL method or any method. 
Okay, na gusto nyong gamitin. Magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng x squared because x times x, that's x squared. x times negative 7, we have negative 7x. Negative 7 times x, we have negative 7x. And negative 7 times negative 7, that is positive 49, is equal to positive 16. Let's simplify. Magkakaroon tayo ng x squared minus 14x, combine natin yung negative 7x and negative 7x, tapos itong 49, bakit magkakaroon ng negative 16? Kasi we have to eliminate yung 16 dito sa kabilang side, kaya mag-add tayo ng negative 16 on both sides of the equation. Okay, addition property. Magkakaroon tayo sa kabila ng 16 minus 16, and this will become 0. Kapag na-simplify na natin, Magkakaroon tayo ng equation na x squared minus 14x and then 49 minus 16 that is 33 is equal to magiging 0 yung nasa kabilang side. So the standard form of our quadratic equation is x squared minus 14x plus 33 is equal to 0. Let's get the values of a, b, and c. Ang a natin is 1, ang b is negative 14, at ang c I positive 33. Now, let's use our formula to get the sum of the roots. Negative B divided by A. Magkakaroon tayo ng negative times negative 14 because B is negative 14 divided by 1. Simplify negative times negative 14. That is 14 divided by 1. Answer is positive 14. So, the sum of the roots ng ating given quadratic equation ay 14. Next, let's get the product of the roots using C divided by A. Substitution, our C is 33 divided by A, which is 1. 33 divided by 1, answer is 33. So, the product of the roots of our quadratic equation is 33. Let's have our last example. Find the roots of the quadratic equation x squared plus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0 using the coefficients a, b, and c. Papaano natin ito gagawin? Kuhanin muna natin yung sum and product of the roots ng ating given quadratic equation. Let's get the values of a, b, and c. The value of a is 1, value of b is positive 4, and the value of c is negative 5. Let's have x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is equal to negative b divided by a. Let's use substitution. And we will have negative 4 because b is positive 4 divided by our a which is 1. Negative 4 divided by 1, answer is negative 4. So the sum of our given quadratic equation is negative 4. Next, let's have the product of the roots using c over a. Substitution, c is equal to negative 5 divided by a, which is 1. Simplify, negative 5 divided by 1, answer is negative 5. So the product of the roots ng ating quadratic equation ay negative 5. Mayroon na tayong sum and product, which are negative 4 and negative 5. What we're going to do is, kumanap tayo ng factors ng negative 5, kung saan kapag pinag-add yung dalawang numbers na yon ang magiging sagot ay negative 4. What are those numbers? We have negative 5 and positive 1. Negative 5 times 1, answer is negative 5. And negative 5 plus positive 1, answer is negative 4. Therefore, ang roots natin ay negative 5 or positive 1. That's it for our tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and we hope that you subscribe to our channel.